So this is a mock test series for UGC net uh, electronic science paper 2 preparation. Uh, so we have done, already done a part 1, this is a part 2 and we are going to do, uh, we are going to see the solutions of 10 questions which you have answered already. Okay. So if you are preparing for uh, UGC net exam or ISRO technical examination, you could answer this question because both the examinations keeps almost same standard of questions. Okay. So, uh, the first question is this, which of the following expressions doesn't represent the correct formula for drift current density? So, which of this expression doesn't give the expression for drift current density? So, drift current density equation is J is equal to sigma into E. This is the relation where sigma is the conductivity, E is the electric field. Now, the conductivity can be represented as charge into number of carriers or electrons into mobility into electric field. So this is also a representation for the drift current density. So these two expressions you can see here and also here. But this one where current density J, current density is represented by J letter. Mobility into electric field is the wrong representation. So the correct answer for the first question is option C. J equal to mu E is not a representation for or not the correct formula for drift current density. Moving on to the next question. The second question is to find the voltage. What is the voltage difference if the current is 1 milliampere and the length and area are 2 centimeters and 4 centimeters squares respectively? So this is a very simple question asking for the application of Ohm's law. And also you have to apply the equation for resistance here. So these type of questions also you can find in technical assistant examination. These are just applications of Ohm's law. Okay. So the equation for voltage is current into resistance. Now we don't know the value for resistance but it is uh, given as the, the measurement of the conductor. Okay. R is equal to the equation is rho L by A. Now rho is given as 2 ohm meter 2 into now length and area are given as 2 centimeters and 2 centimeter and 4 centimeter square so here one value is in meter the other two is in centimeter so you have to convert so these conversions are very important otherwise you may get wrong answer okay so length is 2 centimeters so 2 into 10 raised to minus 2 by 4 into 10 raised to minus 4 since it is centimeter square Okay, so this will get cancelled. 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 4. So there is a 10 raised to minus 2 in the uh, in the denominator side. So it will be, if you take it to the numerator, 100 ohms. Okay, so the value of resistance is 100 ohms. Now I am going to substitute this uh, resistance value in my voltage equation. 100 into current. What is current? 1 milliampere. 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 100. So it is 10 raised to minus 3 into 100 is 0 0.1 volt. Okay. Now from the options, option A 0 0.025, B 25, C 0 0.25, D none. So the correct answer has to be option D none. Okay. So you may not find uh, these type of options or this type of questions having none option uh, in mostly most cases but here the correct answer is option d none of the above the next question is this the watt meter method is used to measure power in a three phase load the watt meter readings are 400 watts and minus 35 watts calculate the total active power so these are generally methods which we use for measuring of power in Three phase load. There is watt meter method. May, you may have heard of watt meter ammeter method. Okay. So anyway, these topics are included in the electronic instrumentation subject. Okay. So if you are not familiar, please do refer the subject also. So in this method, the powers we have obtained are 400 volt and minus 35 volt. So you can write it as W1 is equal to 400 volt and W2 is equal to minus 35 volt. Now what is the total active power? You can call it as T. Tp, Tp is equal to W1 plus W2. Very simple, right? W1 plus W2. So, 1 power is minus. So, we'll have to subtract. Or, we'll write it in this form, minus 35. It is 365 watts. 
okay so from this correct option all these are in watts okay so the correct answer is option b 365 watts next question is from digital electronics it is actually a simplification type of type of question but you have to find the min terms from the options it is clear that you need to find the min terms simplify f is equal to a bar b bar c plus a bar b c plus a b bar c bar plus a b into c bar d bar now you can have a lot of methods to simplify this you can either apply some de morgan's law or some boolean laws to simplify or you can go for k map simplification i am opting k map simplification you can have a different approach okay so i'm going to draw the k map of this so how many variables are here a b c d four variables so it is a four variable k map 2 3 4 okay now i'm going to write the variables here a b c d 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 now you have to put ones in these terms positions or columns a bar b bar c okay where is c1 c is 1 here now where is a bar b bar it is here so you will put one here and here okay i in hope you have uh, idea about kmap simplifi simplification if not i've done uh, two three videos on kmap simplification it is included in the digital electronics playlist please do watch it okay from basics we have started till five variable kmaps we have done okay next term so we have marked this term next one is a bar b and c a bar b is here and c is again here okay next one a b bar c bar c bar is here and i'm sorry here it is 1 1 and it is 1 0 okay so next one is uh, a b bar c bar so a b bar is here and c bar is here so i'll put one here and here the next one is the last term where a b yeah here then c bar d bar yeah it's here now these are the these are the positions in k map where we have to put ones and these are the min terms now we don't know the values that is the position values of this ones so we'll number the columns 0 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 then here 8 there is a small correction in the question uh for the second term it is a bar b d not c okay so please correct in the k map i am not corrected in the k map i'll correct in front of you okay so it is a bar b a bar b and d d is here so it is not in the sixth column it is in the fifth column okay so that is the correction i hope it is understood here you have to change a bar b c s d and here one will be here not in this sixth column okay we'll continue with the numbering 8 9 11 and 10 then 12 13 15 and 14 now now everything is clear to you i'm going to circle the ones 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 terms are there and they are at 2 3 5 7 8 9 and 12 so the first one is your correct option okay that is sigma m sigma m indicates min terms 2 3 5 7 8 9 12 or you can write it 12 8 9 but in the correct form it is 8 9 and then 12 okay so the correct answer for the fourth question is option a is the correct answer okay am signal with a carrier of 1 kilowatt has 200 watt in each side band the percentage of modulation is dash now how to answer this type of question you should know that the equation for power of side band p lsb equal to p usb actually i have done this question in one of my previous videos okay is equal to m m square pc by 4 okay so that is the relation m square pc by 4 is the power in side bands and it is given by 200 volts okay 
so each each will have not combined okay each will have this much for p ls b equal to mc square pc by 4 and also p usb is equal to mc square pc by 4 so its sum total will be equal to 2 okay don't confuse now i don't want the sum total i have individual power it is given by we'll call it as p side band equal to m square pc by 4 now it is given by 200 watts is the power it is given pc is given as 1 kilowatt so it is 1000 yeah it is equal to that is 200 is equal to m square into 1000 by 4 now from this m square is equal to 800 by 1000 is m square i'm going to take the zeros it will be 8 by 10 taking the square root and into 100 percentage okay it is 89.4 percentage okay i'll write it below for that it is visible 89.4 percentage will be obtained okay so the correct answer is option b question is from computer network subject the physical layer is concerned with dash a bit by bit delivery process to process delivery application to application delivery port to port delivery okay i have marked some of the answers here see process to process delivery and port to port delivery is uh, controlled by transport layer then bit to bit delivery is controlled by physical layer so the bit level processing is done in your physical layer it is the layer in which you have all the data path all the processing unit and everything is present in your physical layer and uh, application to application level uh, delivery is controlled by the application layer okay so these are the various layers and its functions anyway the answer for the for this question is option a bit to bit delivery is controlled by physical layer and question is a single channel is shared by multiple signals by the process dash it is a very very simple question correct answer is option c multiplexing the other options are angle modulation phase modulation no that are not sharing of single channel by multiple signals it is called multiplexing okay if you if you draw the the figure of a multiplexer you can see it will be like this multiple signals through a single channel and demultiplexing at the outside i mean on the receiver side and yeah this is the transmitter side this is the receiver side so you can draw a multiplexer in a very simple way like this okay so this is mux or multiplexing correct answer is option c next question is from antenna session a radio cap company with its antenna at a height of 15 meter communicates with a cab having antenna of 1.5 meter the maximum communication distance without obstacles is roughly dash so there are two antennas one for the cab company and one is for the cab so these two antennas are going to communicate now what is the maximum communication distance without obstacles okay so the equation i have written it here it is maximum distance d is equal to 4 into square root of d1 plus square root of d2 where d1 is the height of the first antenna d2 is the height of the second antenna here one antenna is the antenna of the cap company one is of the cap so you can put it as 15 meters both are in meters okay so no problem into 1.5 meters and if you solve it the value you're getting is 20 kilometers okay that will be the value obtaining so that is the uh, answer and the correct option here is option b is the correct answer for the question 8 option b 20 kilometers is the correct answer the next question is question number 9 which one is not a function of network layer a routing b inter networking c congestion control d error control so if you talk about the network layer it is the third layer in osi model and the main function of network layer is providing of routing path for network communications and also internet working congestion control all these are the functions of network layer but error control is done by data link layer and mainly transport layer so the correct answer here is option 
D, which is error control. Okay. Next one, the last question is van. Van starts for dash. Van is the very simple question. Wide area network. Okay. So wide area network means it is actually used for covering or connecting of uh, cities or even countries with the help of a satellite. It is a wide area network. Wide connecting network. Okay. So these are the ten questions. Uh, I really hope that you found this video useful. So we, this series of UGC net mock test uh, preparation or mock test series will be continuing uh, only based on the response of this video. Okay. So uh, if you want uh, to prepare for UGC net or if you want to see more videos on this, please do share it with your friends also. So only based on this response, I'll be continuing this UGC net uh, mock test series. Uh, the other uh, mock test series uh, that is for gate exam and for uh, technical assistant exam is also there if you want to practice questions from uh, the technical assistant exam um, it is very useful for you because both this exam as i said keeps almost same standard uh, so that's it uh, and also if you want me to do a video or a particular week in which we'll be uh, concentrating on the um, computer network subject please do mention in the comment session anyway we'll be doing it very soon after most probably after doing the uh, microcontroller microprocessor week we'll be doing uh, entirely on a week entirely we'll be concentrating on computer network subjects subject it's important topics formula revision likewise okay uh, so that's it so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up and share this video maximum and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching